Daily Quirk sat down for an interview with Vikings creator Michael Hurst at Comic-Con, and we're bringing you the inside info. How difficult was it to figure out the journey Well, I always knew that one of the big features of season three was going to be the Attack of the Race. And the other big feature of season three in terms of where we needed to be geographically and things was was the settlement that Ragnar had left in West Because we knew from season one that one of his biggest dreams was to settle some Scandinavian farmers and other territories who were good. Um, because coming from farming stock himself, you know, is the, 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 there's not enough land that's going on. Vikings had to colonize other places and work with other people. So those were two of the geographical things I needed. We had to go back to Wessex, and I wanted to do that anyway because King Egg was such a wonderful character. And then ultimately we were going to the next city, which was the biggest event you know, so far in the Vikings. But in terms of how I, you know, working on ocean lines, and that's not a problem. That's just I love to. Otherwise, I give other things. Yeah. Oh God, if, if it wasn't, I wouldn't have done it without that huge aspect of uh, biking life and biking. And I was really interested last year at Comic-Con, the panel, when the, the fans started talking about it, they talked more about the world and the spiritual side than the balance and the violence. You know, and it was like, that's interesting. You know, because I thought when I wrote it, well, we'll probably get a history channel, male, skewed audience, you know, who's interested in the battles and the kind of thing. And I wonder whether they'll go to this other, you know, they love it, you know, and, and it's really part of the texture of the show. And for some reason, there's a huge interest in, in paganism and, you know, and other kinds of spirituality. Yeah. It's pretty, I don't know where it's coming from. You know, it's a, uh, no, I, I, I think that uh, it's reinforced my instinct. A, that there was a, a new interest in Vikings, which I don't think 20 years ago I couldn't have gone to, because no one was big like Vikings. You know, now it's in the zeitgeist. You know, there's a huge uh, exhibition in London, Vikings, you know, uh, Viking points now. Uh, at least it wasn't a bomb. No, at least it wasn't a bomb. That comes next. Um, and I think I'm, I'm, I'm hugely uh, humbled by the fact that the fans like the things that I like. You know, and who knew? It's, as a writer, you work alone. You're in a little space trying to communicate. And you don't know whether you can see it. So it's one for very So the people are interested. Seem to be interested in things I'm interested in. <laughs> I wanted the show to challenge the lot of the stereotypes, a lot of the cliche, you know, social cliche, you know, women, for example, is much more white, and a they were more democratic. You know, there were lots of things about them that people really didn't. I wasn't handling. The stereotypes 
so much. Thank you so 